So when you walk in the door, straight ahead, I have all my bowls. My gong, my 18 inch e bowl. Tibetan bowl mallets, tincture bells. This was my first big Tibetan bowl. There's my new Koshi chime stand. And I bought two Koshi chimes. And I have the door open and there's like flies flying around here. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's hot in here. This is the Earth Koshi chime. That's the water. My favorite little dolphin chime. And and I just got this yesterday. I needed something to put my mallets in. There's a bowl there. So this is a set of seven. This is my first set of bowls that I got a year ago. And they are all eight inches. I got them individually so I could just buy them one or two at a time until I got a full set. So this is what I started with about a year ago. And then Christmas time of 2021, after about six months or so, I got a 432 hertz set, which are these, and my biggest one is 12 inches, and then it goes down from there, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, that's the crown, third eye throat, um, heart, solar plex, sacral root. This one right here was one that I got just a couple months ago, and this is a larger able. So this is 11 inch. The one that came with my set is here, and that's a 7 inch. So I wanted just a larger able. This is my 18 inch e bowl. And this is my gong. I love my gong. So this is actually a mallet that I got with one of my Tibetan bowls, but it works well with this. I think I like this better than this is the mallet that came with it. I want to 
one I get for it that's they're a little bit softer some lights down here. I have some selenite. I love selenite. And I have my rain stick there. And over here I have a little seven bowl Tibetan bowl set. This was my first set. Comes with some mallets and some little rings for them to sit in, but there's seven of them here. And over here, behind the chimes, I have another seven bowl set. And they all come with a little, little ring. And I have some more Tibetan bowls. This is probably my favorite one here. And this is the one that I used for the full moon video on July 13th. This is my moon energy bowl. And up above that, I have, this is my first quartz crystal bowl that I actually bought from a friend in probably 1997. So I've had this for a very long time. This is my first crystal bowl and this over here is my first Tibetan bowl that I got from a friend um, as a gift probably about 1997 also. So I've had those two for a very long time along with my rattles. <laughs> rattles. And my my drum over here got all those around and my rain stick around 1997 I took Reiki in 1997 I think in 1998 I became a Reiki master um, I'm a personal trainer I competed in bodybuilding also I have my my tinctures over here and this is a new set that I got yesterday and I'll have to do a video on this this is a different note than the one I made in the desert if I remember right this is a G note and this new sets a little bit bigger and it's a D and I like the way it sounds too very pretty And this shell right here is a shell that I got from my friend back in 1997. And she's the one that gave me this bowl as a gift. So the way that we're looking right now is the attractive part of my room. And this is actually a little trailer that my husband got for free off of Craigslist that used to be my tack room to hold my tack for my horses and I've recently made it into my sound room. When I film my videos I usually film this way and I just recently cleaned up this way over here which I'm going to show you now. So when you walk in the door, which this is the door right here, and that's me, <laughs> when you look to the left. I have some crystals and some candles. My sister made that for me. That's one of my horses. 
my one of my crystal ball amethyst these are my nine sophagio tuning forks here they come in such a nice little case these are the first six here and then these are the other three those are some of my organ forks I love selenite I love dolphins <laughs> and if we look more this way I have my tuning forks I'm going to try to bring a case in here so I can set those up again and these are some little odds and ends that I'm going to have to find a place for those right here I have my tuning pipes set up and the stand that it's on was actually black and I spray painted it white and this was a stand that I used to hang my tack on when I was out with my horses if I wanted to bring a bridle out you just hang your bridles on and then you get your horse ready and then you take the bridle off so this is actually a tack stand and I thought I bet that would be perfect for my tuning pipes and it is it's like perfect height have each little mallet just right in there this is what they sound like. This is 432 hertz. This is 528 hertz. And I ended up buying two tongue drums because I, I got this one down here first. And then I learned about the pentatonic scale, and that's this one. So I have two tongue drums. Back over there in that case is my weighted chakra forks. And this is the chakra set. These are weighted forks, so the sound isn't loud enough to really hear on video. You can hear it a little bit, but the sound doesn't last very long. So, but they're very pretty. They're all the colors of the chakras and they have the name and the hertz. And they come in this nice case. And then I have some more tuning forks in there. And I have my, my drum over here that I have this in one of my videos. Let's look at the ocean drum. I love it because it has fish on it. So this is this is the back of it. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you like it? So, I have a couple more smaller Tibetan bowls. I have one more this size, four inch. And then I have a six inch heart one too. So I have three of my doggy girls that I've lost in the last couple years. That's one, her name was Gypsy. She was almost 17 years old. And then this one here, that's her footprint. This one was Jasmine. And this one over here is Ziva. She died last, last October, 2021. She was 2020, 2020. So last couple years, I've lost three of my 
my older dogs. So anyway, um, that makes this room more special to me. I made this. I haven't finished it, but this is from my chicken feathers. So I put a bunch of them together. I, I used a hot glue gun and put those together. And I'm going to take from this part down and put some suede on this stick. I took found this stick and I sanded it down. And I want to finish it off with some suede. So this is for my, my sage. When I do my sage. If you guys like my sound room, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.